Hi everyone, my name is Andy. I'm the course facilitator for the Tech Savvy Admin course along with uh, Assistant Superintendent Danielle Patty. Our first step is going to be called Knowledge Reduces Risk. And what these uh, resources are about in kind of a nutshell, I went to a financial presentation one time and one of the uh, presenters was talking about if you're investing in stocks, the more you know about the company and the stocks that you're investing in, the less risk you're taking with your money. And that's really kind of the general philosophy of the resources that we're going to look at with this step. So if you go to the Wakelet, that's part of the next link, you'll come across, um, and again, Wakelet, we'll talk about at a later time, you'll come across these resources in the Knowledge Reduces Risk category. And again, uh, Technology runs fast and furious. It's so hard to keep up, especially for busy uh, educators and administrators. So this step is really valuable to just kind of uh, find some places to check the pulse of the technology landscape because our students are being, um, for lack of a better term, exposed to a lot of different technologies. Some may be very safe, some may not be safe. So the resources that are part of this step will help you kind of keep track of uh, safety as well as just um, general knowledge of websites and uh, programs that students are using. So one of my first uh, and probably again there, I'm going to go through several of these but not all of them the others you can check out on your own but one of my best and trusted sources of information is a website called connectsafely.org this website you can see uh, has a lot of information over here are recent posts and you can see there are uh, a lot of them are tied into current events so it keeps up to date very quickly there's a live session here uh, there's uh, just a lot of featured articles but perhaps the best part for me that i like the most are the guides section up here so there's some quick guides, but if you go to the all guides and go to educator guides, or you can even go to parents guides, when you click here, you'll find that there's a variety of, again, up-to-date information on a variety of topics. Let's just go educator's guide to student data and privacy, which is a pretty big topic these days. When you open this up, you are going to get the option to click a PDF for, um, for you to read if you're a person like me who still likes to read kind of paper copy or just uh, read a little more carefully on a computer, you can do that. So you can download those. You could also, for say a parent's night, you could download those and print those out uh, with permission uh, from Connect Safely. You can check their privacy and, and copyright information. But really, if you're using it for school and sharing it, uh, I think you're pretty safe in that category. I hope, uh, I think you can check their uh, terms of use. But there's just some great up-to-date information for parents and teachers. It will, um, they're well written, they're not too long, they're not overly wonky. And I think uh, you'll find this resource one of the best places to go. It's one of my trusted sources to go for information. Another great one is called Common Sense Media. They've been around for quite some time. Uh, Common Sense Media will basically look at all things media and give you reviews and information. It's designed specifically kind of for a parent, uh, which again is good, but it also would be great for teachers as well. So for uh, example, just as uh, an option, say a teacher wanted to show this, um, show Hamilton in their classroom, of course, they'd have to take a look at uh, copyright, but you'll see just right out of the box, looking at this, you'll see positive messages, positive role models. It'll give guy, guy, violence settings, sorry, um, language, and again, inappropriate content. So it'll talk about a variety of different, it'll give you just a quick little eyeball view of, uh, of kind of what this is about from kind of an educator uh, standpoint. So if a, if a teacher came to you and said, hey, I'd like to show this movie, you could come here even without seeing the movie and checking it out and getting some information. You can see it's rated. You can see what parents say. You can see what kids say and so on and so forth. So this is a common sense selection for families. You could save it and review it. And then again, if a parent had a question about whether this was an appropriate movie or something, they could come here. 
Another thing you can look at is apps and games. So if you go to, again, if you're looking for educational uh, apps, you can find a lot of different reviews. Let me just click on this one. Again, similar type of thing. You'll see different type of games that your students may be playing. They don't need to be educational per se. So if, again, if you're a teacher, an administrator, and a student tells you, hey, I've been playing this, this game, uh, you can just take a look at it. You can see the review. You can see the age level. You can see its appropriateness. So again, they'll give you these um, guiding uh, information. So fantastic site, great for anything media from TV shows, movies, uh, games, uh, apps, that sort of thing. So a great site, and that's Common Sense Media. My other one is um, Net Family News. This is from Ann Collier. She's been part of the internet safety game for a long time, even since MySpace, if you remember MySpace. But what I love about Anna, she's pro-family, she's pro-technology, so she's not someone who's trying to scare, dare you, so she, I think, writes from a parent slash um, professional viewpoint, and she writes some very timely posts, and I think you'll really like uh, her blog. This is called uh, Net Family News. She's been working at it for a long time, so great place. Here's this parent toolkit for student privacy. Uh, eight best fact-checking sites uh, for finding unbiased truth. So I've put quite a few things in here. Teacher's Guide to Tech. Uh, believe it or not, the FTC can be a great place to find out things about privacy, identity, and online security. So that's a, a federal government uh, website. And there's just, again, a few other ones here. Google, of course, does some things. There's this article on 10 apps to delete from your teenager's phone and some to watch very closely. Again, very timely. Uh, take a look at that. I think it's well worth the read. Uh, that's from Tom's Guide. NetSmarts, again, has been around. That's a program for kids to learn about internet uh, safety. And then again, there's a variety of different uh, articles and websites. They're all based around keeping you safe and keeping you up to date. So I hope this was helpful.